Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Inic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to use any Android smartphone or tablet as a Wi-Fi repeater device. So, without any further delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see my Android home screen, right? So, firstly, what you need to do is just connect to your Wi-Fi internet connections. If you have a Wi-Fi internet connections at your home or any places or whether in your office, then firstly connect your Android smartphone with the Wi-Fi internet connections. So after that, what you need to do is just go to the Play Store and in the Play Store, just search for one application name as NetBridge. So you can see your NetBridge. So a good thing about this application is that you don't need your smartphone to get rooted or no root is required as already you can see here, no root tutoring, right? So just tap on install. So once the installation is done, tap on open to open this application. So on opening this application, you can see this kind of user interface, right? So below you can clearly see it being mentioned that unlimited free. So you don't need to purchase anything or there is no any paid version. So this application is completely free and you can use it for unlimited times. As you can see, unlimited free, right? That means there is no limitations or data limitations like that, right? So you can see on the up go option is there right so before clicking on the go just pull down your notification panel and just enable or turn on the location so if you have not turned on the location so in my case i have already turned on so if you have not turned on the location then just turn on this location because this application requires uh locations you can later on turn it off also once you start using this so it's a straightforward so when you click on go now you can see here, it allows you to access. So just I will access allow this time Wait for a few seconds. So you can see here the notification panel also is running. That means your Android smartphone is acting like a Wi-Fi repeater device, right? So you can use now your Android smartphone as a Wi-Fi repeater and say suppose you can see here below some instructions, right? If you're trying to connect with the android smartphone then just tap on it and you can see here some manual instructions what you need to do so right now i'm gonna connect with the iphone so it's also available for iphone devices and if you're using a mac computer i want to connect with the mac or windows all the instructions for how to connect with this net bridge the process has been given inside it so Right now I want to connect with the iPhone. So now you can see my iPhone home screen, right? So what I will do, I'll just try to check out for the Wi-Fi available connections. So let me go to the Wi-Fi entering connections. So you can see it's detected direct at NetBridge. So I'll just tap on it. So it's asking for a password right so you can see on the right side a password is already given so let me type the password and after that let me try to connect this so I have connected right so let us try to browse so the website is not opening so let me open this google again so the net is not working right so that means we have not set so you can see here no internet connections right so here on the android smartphone you can see here some instruction is given so what you need to do here so you can see here after connecting you need to go to the configurations and you need to set the this server and the port as you can see already given a screenshot also for your easy event so what i need to do so let me follow this instructions on my iphone so let me click on here and just scroll down below and you can see your configure proxy so just tap on this and just select this manual and now in the server you need to add a number that you can see here provided in the screenshots just keep the exact server address And now 
put the port number so so once you have put the server and the port address click on save now it will try to reconnect so wait for a few seconds now let us try to browse again so let us try to open the google website voila now it's perfectly working right so now we have successfully connected with our android smartphone that is we have finally used our android smartphone as a wi-fi repeater that means we have connected a wi-fi internet connection firstly on our android smartphone then after that we are sharing the wi-fi with the other devices that means this proves that our android smartphone is acting like a wi-fi repeater devices so this is the cool tricks how to use your android smartphone or tablet as a wi-fi repeater device so if you never known about this cool tricks then definitely you should try it out and if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching